So today I want to talk to you guys about the element nihonium, which is a metal that is extremely radioactive. Its most stable isotope, nihonium-286, has a half-life of about uh, 20 seconds. So any sample of nihonium the size of my fingernail would probably evaporate because of the extreme radioactivity and heat generated because the shorter the half-life, the more radioactive the element is. Just for comparison, uranium-238 has a half-life of about 4.5 billion years. But nihonium-286 is a half-life of 20 seconds. That's more than a trillion times more radioactive than uranium. And if you got a sample of nihonium, a gram of it would cost 157 sextillion dollars. <laughs> that is insane because um, you can imagine why. It's very difficult to make in large quantities, and we've only been able to create less than 100 atoms of it, and it lasts only 20 seconds. So your 157 sextillion dollar sample is gone by the time you get it. But even if you did get a sample of it, it would actually be quite soft and you could simply cut it with scissors. Just like that. And look at this nice and shiny metal surface that I can score with my finger like that. There we go. So that is not actually nihonium, it's indium, which is the element that's most similar to nihonium. Well, possibly, because it could be thallium, because they're both, like, these two elements are pretty much identical, but the only difference is that indium is non-toxic and non-reactive, but thallium is toxic and reactive. And... Thallium is quite unusual because of that, and it has a plus 8 oxidation, wait, sorry, a plus 1 oxidation state. So it readily loses one electron, like potassium, which is how it poisons you. It mimics potassium in your body. And um, I'm pretty sure nihonium would be inert, kind of like indium, so it would look like this. It would be pretty soft because it's a group 13 element. and also pretty expensive. So that's about it. There's Nihonium for you guys.